Hello. Um, it's day 48 and I just wrote a song in my car, kind of almost against my will. <laughs> I had this little piece of paper that I found in a library book um, that I had just returned and it had like random things doodled on it and then it ended up sounding like a song and then I was like, shoot, I already wrote my song for the day. I don't need to do that. <laughs> but then uh, there was like a melody in my head and so thankfully I have my car my car set up <laughs> so I just made it because whatever um you know in the old days I had like days that felt inspired like music days you know and I would write three to seven songs at a time and then I would have days that I didn't feel like writing so so I guess this isn't that abnormal um I was in a writing mood this morning too I wrote three piano songs I wanted to share all three but I ended up just sharing one because it really is um the most time consuming part, even at a slappy level, is sharing. So um, that's what I'm finding. I love sharing. I love putting these up, especially because I'm not trying to be polished. So it doesn't take. Oops, <laughs> I can turn that off. Um, it does. It doesn't take that much out of me. Um, I'm just trying to give you a snapshot of my writing life for a year, but. Um, one of my problems I've always had with inspiration, I don't think it's, it's not a problem, it's just a way that reality and life inside my head don't line up, but I've always had more ideas than I've had time or motivation or passion or interest or dedication or discipline, and so, you know, some days when I'm feeling the most inspired are sometimes the most frustrating days of this challenge because um, I know one happened on a Sunday a few weeks ago. Um, I was doing the tweet cycle for my friend and then ended up writing three other songs and I was convinced, I had nothing else going on that day, I was convinced I would share all four and then it didn't work out and had all these technical difficulties and then thought I would share them later in the week and I never did. And yeah, that can be frustrating. I'm distracted. I'm downtown Grand Haven. There's all these cute little shops. I was trying to just go get a soft pretzel or a donut pretzel as my nephew calls them because they're big and puffy. And I was trying to run some errands, hence returning library books. Um, but yeah, just got inspired. So this isn't really a check-in with much purpose other than to say hi and to, I don't know, I'm feeling decent. Life is good. I live in a nice place. Lots of nature. Um, I like getting to make music every day. Just got a bunch of new piano students. Well, not a bunch, but... Um, Four possibly, um, which is pretty much all I had room for. So it was kind of weird. It happened all in one week. Um, so that's nice. So my studio is pretty much full, um, which is like four evenings a week. And nobody really likes piano lessons on Fridays, other than like a makeup lesson here and there. But so that's nice. So, you know, life is chugging along. And. If you don't know me outside of these videos, hello, and thank you for making me your weird little YouTube friend. Um, I love making up songs, and I've been hoping for, I don't know how long, that I could somehow find a way to meet people who like the same kind of music I like. In other words, I mean, I like music other than the music I make. It's just this is the only music that I feel inspired to make. <laughs> I like a lot of music other than the music I make. Very specific things, though, like very niche things, like um, Sofian Stevens, um, Joanna Newsom, Breathe Owl Breathe, uh, The Soil and the Sun. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of things I like. Um, anyway, but, but yeah, just, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so distracted. There's people walking around. It's colorful. The sky is like white. I wrote a song about that one time. Anyway, okay, well, have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.